All right, how he's doing? Hey, what you been up to this week? Well, myself. Hey, I was up the street the other day. I thought I seen a wee guy I was at school with, wee Joe. Like, oh, wee Joe, yeah, there he was. I runs up. Oh, I think I'm a bit of a joker. Slaps him in the back of the head, pings his ear. His maw went totally off her head. Then I realised, ah, wee Joe would be about the same age as me now as well, 56, eh? Fucking school days when I met wee Joe. I was at school we met. They didn't like the school at all. Fucking couldn't go it. There was one good thing about it. We had this teacher, uh, we used to call her wee Mary. She was an absolute baby, a young thing. No, no as young as me at the time. I was 12, but oh, she was lovely. And, uh, you know, it was a schoolboy's dream there. I and mean, I used to deliberately misbehave in wee Mary's class. The reason being, she says, Jim, if you don't stop your carry on, I'll have to give you the belt. I was like, oh, you carry on there, so I'll carry on misbehaving, you know. Twelve year old and you're into say the masochism and couldn't even say the word, but there you go. <laughs> um, I was glad when we left the school. Last day we were there, we thought, oh, we'll just go mental and we'll rip each other's blazers, pull the pockets off them, write our name over them. We souvenir, keep that, and then went home, didn't realise my ma had promised the blazer to my wee cousin for the next year. That's why she'd been telling me all year to keep it clean, stop wiping my nose on the sleeves. Little did I know, but there you go. There's the blazer. Lucky for the wee cousin, Punk Rock came on the scene that year. It was a big thing, so he was ha more than happy with the blazer for getting back to school. <laughs> anyway, you take care, and uh, maybe see you again sometime. Right, signing off.